So how does atherosclerotic plaque form inside your arteries, and what does LDL cholesterol have to do with it? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and I'm going to examine how cholesterol-carrying low-density lipoprotein, or LDL, causes atherosclerosis in the arteries of your body. The word atherosclerosis comes from atheros, a Greek word meaning gruel. If you were to cut out an artery lined with atherosclerotic plaque in, in half, the cheesy substance that comes out is the atherosclerosis. So atherosclerosis forms as your arteries respond to chronic injury. The innermost layer of the arterial wall is called the endothelium. The endothelium can be injured by chronic high blood pressure, toxic gases generated by smoking, viruses, and high levels of fat transporters, or LDL, in the blood. As the endothelium suffers chronic injury, it becomes more leaky, allowing LDL platelets and monocytes to exit the bloodstream and penetrate into the arterial wall. Once the monocytes have breached the endothelial layer of the artery, they enter the next layer, which is the intimal layer of that arterial wall. Once inside the intima, these immune cells called monocytes actually transform into macrophages. Macrophages are immune cells in your blood that surround and ingest unwanted material in the body. In addition, the activated platelets in macrophages release small proteins which allow smooth muscle cells and collagen to invade the intimal layer of the artery. Macrophages turn into foam cells as they ingest fat and cholesterol from those broken down LDL particles. At the same time, the intimal layer of the arterial wall is transformed by smooth muscle and collagen deposition. If you were to look at the inside of an artery to follow this process, First, you would see flat, yellow, fatty streaks that are one centimeter or longer along the arterial wall. These fatty streaks are actually made up of those fat-filled macrophages. As more and more LDL is deposited in the intimal layer of the artery, smooth muscle cells and collagen follow eventually forming atherosclerotic plaque in the lining of that artery. These plaques are yellow, tan in color and raised above the surrounding vessel wall. Sometimes these plaques can rupture, causing blood clots to form. Any superimposed blood clots over an ulcerated plaque will typically be reddish brown in color. Acute plaque rupture is typically what causes a heart attack. A person uh, was often asymptomatic, but when that plaque inside of a coronary artery, which supplies the heart with blood and oxygen, once that plaque ruptures, a blood clot often forms in the artery, which can completely block off the inside of the artery. This cuts off blood supply and oxygen to the heart muscle and then causes a heart attack. Even if a plaque does not rupture, it gradually expands in size and begins to block blood flow through that artery. Once the expanding plaque blocks about 70% of the internal diameter of the artery, the tissue supplied by this artery will often not get enough blood supply and oxygen when it's needed most. This lack of oxygen 
can cause chest pain, which we term as angina, or uh, leg pain, which the medical term is claudication when walking. Thank you for listening. I hope that this has been helpful for you.